Okay, here I am with another lemon recipe because of my abundance of lemons. And plus, I love lemons. Anything to do with, uh, you know, lemon pie, anything with lemon in it, I just love. I'm going to make these lemon bars, and they're only one WW Blue Point each. First thing I want to do is make the crust. You need a 13 by 9 by 2 uh, pan. This is a nice big size. And um, I'm going to spray it really good with some little bit of butter pan. And the first part of the recipe is the crust. So I'll show you what I'm going to be putting in the food processor. Because all of this is going to go in together in the food processor. And it's going to, uh, I'm going to pulse it down until it becomes real fine like graham cracker crust. And then it will go in here. So I'm going to use uh, one and a quarter cups of Kellogg's All Bran, a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, um, see this is um, one and a half tablespoons of um, maple syrup. Uh, this is the sugar-free maple syrup. I get this at Walmart. It's the Maple Grove. This is only zero points. Really hard to find a sugar-free syrup that's zero points. But, um, and it's real good. I stock up on it every time I go to Walmart, I buy that. Uh, <clears throat> so with the syrup, we're going to do one and a half tablespoons. And then Molly McButter, get this over the spice thing, and this is a zero point, adds a little butter flavor to it. Two teaspoons, and then a half a cup of the Sorve granulated sugar substitute and um, it's really good and that's zero points. I'm going to put all of this in the food processor. I'm going to put it on fast forward and I'm going to let this grind down and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it into this pan. I'm going to spray it. I'm going to wet my fingers and push it all down to the corners. Okay, this is what uh, the crust looks like. It's all pushed down in the bottom of the uh, <clears throat> the cake pan, long oblong cake pan. I'm gonna put this in the oven 350 for about 10-15 minutes just to brown it. While it's cooking, I'm going to mix the lemon, uh, make the lemon filling that's gonna go on top because as soon as it comes out, you pour the lemon filling on it while it's hot. It's very important. So this is gonna go in the oven now and uh, Pretty cool. Okay, my crust is almost done, so now I'm gonna work on the filling real quick because we wanna get it in on the hot crust. And the ingredients on this is uh, one and three quarters, I mean one and a half, I should just keep these glasses on. I'm sorry, one and a half cups of the uh, powdered sugar replacement, the Swerve powdered sugar replacement. And, um, one half a teaspoon of vanilla, four large eggs, three quarters a cup of fresh lemon juice, so I'm, it says about three lemons, and two teaspoons of lemon zest. All of this is gonna go in the food processor, so I'm gonna start this right now. Okay, the eggs are well blended. Now I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla, and then I'm gonna add half of the uh, Sorve confection sugar which is, will be three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna add the other three quarters of a cup a little bit later. So we'll put, this is the three quarter cup. It's gonna go in here, I'm gonna turn this on, I'm gonna blend this and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna add the lemon juice, three quarters cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. It took around uh, four of my lemons to make this amount. And then the rest of the powdered sugar, sort of a um, sugar replacement powdered sugar. 
goes in next. And this is, then I'm gonna turn the food processor back on and blend this really well. And then I'm gonna add the lemon zest. And then it goes uh, on top of the crust. Okay, now I'm gonna add the lemon zest. And we'll pulse this a couple times. And then I'll be back, I'm gonna pour it into the pie, not pie, but the cake, cake pan. Okay, the lemon filling is finished now. So let me get this off. And then I'm gonna pour this on top. It's gonna go back in the oven at 300. After you uh, cook the crust, you reduce the oven down to 300. And uh, so once it's down to 300, which mine is, then you're gonna pour this on top of the um, crust. Okay, now it's gonna go in the oven, 300 degrees for around 30 minutes, and I'll be back when it's finished. Can't wait. Okay, I'm all finished with my um, recipe, and the lemon bars turned out really good. They're super moist. I tasted one. They're very tart, very sweet tart, just like I like them. It's hard to believe they're only one point uh, per serving, that's per bar. And you could have these with as a late night to, you know, snack, which is what I'm gonna have with some coffee in a minute. Or you could have a little tea party, you know, and um, as a little a tea dessert, they would be really nice for something like that. But it was fun making them. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and share it with others. I just wanna be encouragement to all of you, just like many of you have been to me. And I do appreciate all your comments that I have received and the encouragement that you have given me. You have a wonderful day. And if you want the recipe, if you look in the little upside down arrow and expand it uh, in the description, you'll see the recipe. Or even better, if you wanna print it, you can go to my website, amusinghealthyrecipe.com, and all my recipes are on my homepage under Pinnacle Recipe. You'll see the little box on the front page along with the videos. And you can just tap on it and see all the ones that I've created. I think I have around 60 now, and that's only been in like seven months, eight months I've been doing this. And I've come a long way from when I first made them. They're a little more professional-like now because it's become a very fun but serious uh, hobby now. But I love it. And it's helping me keep off my weight with WW by cooking healthy, creating healthier meals, and enjoying every bite along the way. I hope you enjoy it too, and God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.